Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream On If You're New and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Y'all, I'm so mad. I literally was on here and it was not connected to my YouTube, it was not connected to my Facebook group and I was so confused. So I was on here talking for a few minutes and I saw the people on here but they couldn't talk. I already had technical difficulties, I apologize for this. Um camera because it's janky looking because this is not my uh webcam my little external hard drive thing i think from five below stopped working i had it for a while but i think it stopped working but y'all i was on here just chatting thinking i'm talking to people on youtube and i was not i already had technical difficulties y'all tonight is a night y'all don't even understand i'm like are you kidding me so i'm just talking and chatting i'm not even on youtube but i think i'm on youtube and i'm not that was just so bold <laughs> so i'm just talking and i see the people on here but they ain't saying that hey becky i'm like what's going on I'm like i'm sorry it's so late and i was just talking away and i was not connected to my youtube my webcam, my little extension thing, not working. I had some other technical difficulties. Tonight is a night, but we here and y'all popping up on here. And I was like, where everybody at? I wasn't connected to YouTube. Y'all, tonight is a night. Do you understand me? And I cannot stand this camera. I need my webcam. So I'm going to have to go get another external hard drive thing. Hey, y'all. So now let me say hey. Hey, Becky. Hey, Valencia. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Dr. Charlotte. Hey, Gami. Y'all, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, everybody must be asleep. I was not on YouTube. We just go keep it moving. So what I'm doing tonight. Oh, I'm trying to think what I said. I said I owe y'all a video. So I owe you guys the... um cake topper real real video and then i'll probably do this video i owe y'all so many videos but i'm here right now and i know it's late but i'm here and y'all popping up on here hey michelle hey 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 merlinda i know it has been so <laughs> Really? You see, the camera is messed up. I'm mad. My web, the lighting not right. Nothing look right because it's not my webcam. But you got to talk, John. That's cool. That's fine. Hey, DJ. I'm so mad. I literally was like, I'm not even going to go on. This webcam is not working. I was about to have a tantrum, but I said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hop on. We're going to keep it moving. Then I'm on here talking, and I wasn't even on YouTube. Y'all forgive me. Hey, Sh Shanae. How you pronounce your name? It's okay. Thank you for understanding, Hayes. Hey, Patrice. I'm good, y'all. I'm tired tonight, actually. I had a salad, but it was, it's like a, um, like a Big Mac salad. It was so good, though. It was delicious, and I'm full, and I'm sleepy, but I said I was going to get on here. I didn't care what, what time. Hey, Patrice. Hey, Pacola. Hey, Cecilia. Hey, Arlene. Y'all up. I thought y'all was going to be asleep. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Angela. Y'all, my last Canva class, we went over an hour. When I said we had a ball, we had a ball. I tell you what we had. We had us a good time. We was on there all night talking and chatting and having so much fun. But yeah. I'm going to just go ahead and get started. <laughs> Let me see. Special shout out to Irma Joy, Tracy. Special, special shout out to y'all. Let's see. Hey, Angela. Hey, Nicole. Sweet dreams. I know it's late. Hey, Lady J. You new to this? You want to learn? I got you. Hey, Dimps. Hey, Boo. Hey, Arlene. Hey, Sheila. You listening and driving? Be safe. Hey, Candy. Hey, Nicole. Like I said, sweet dreams. All right, y'all. Let's get to it. Because I'm already tired. It's already late. My stuff was messed. It's a lot of y'all on here tonight. Hey, Sharon. All right. So 
simple, simple, simple. Looking forward to see the video. Thank you. Simple video. We're going to do a tumbler. We're going to do a tumbler tonight. And then we are going to press it. I'm, I still have to get that cement stuff that they were talking about. Um, I'm just going to see if a hot glue gun can work. So we're going to see how that works. Hey, Fabulosis. I have to do some more um, embroidery stuff. But so with the tumblers, you get a tumbler. It has to be a sublimation tumbler. So you have to have a sublimation tumbler. You can't just get any tumbler. It will not work. Sublimation tumblers are made with a special coating. Okay. So that's number one. You want to make sure that you clean it. You could even use gloves. I could go grab me some lace and gloves. Um, I won't today, but you can use gloves if you want. I have this alcohol dispenser. I got this from the um, Dollar Tree. It actually is um, nail polish remover. And when you squeeze it down, the alcohol comes up in that part. Then what I use are I use these coffee filters. I get these from the Dollar Tree. And then what I do is because these don't leave dust. Okay. So they don't leave dust like if you use a paper towel. So I put my hand inside of here and then I clean. So what's going to happen is you clean this like you're cleaning. Um, you clean this all the way off because you don't want the oils from your hands or whatever to actually leave imprints on your tumbler. So you clean it real good all the way around, clean the tumbler with the alcohol, and then you let it dry. You don't want to touch it again because the oils from your hand or if you have lotion, it can get on there. So we're going to try our best. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys in silhouette because I use silhouette. And what I do is I... um. Print it out in there. Oh, I did shout out Josie, the best uni crew, because she had provided some of the images in her group. So shout out to you, Josie. I love you. I miss you. And I, let me put this other camera down because I keep looking at it like it's there when it's not. Let's see what y'all are saying. Yeah, so you can use UV resin. You can use a lot of stuff. I don't use resin right now. I don't use certain things. So like I said, it's some type of cement they told me to use before. I'm just going to try a glue gun. It might not even work. I have no idea. I've never watched a video with it. I don't know anything about it. I just saw them. So I was like, we could just try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And then in the real video, I'll get the cement stuff they said because I don't use resin right now. But best uni, Josie, she has resin. So check her out. Um, but I don't use that right now. But they, you definitely can use that. Hey, Tina. And like I said, I don't even know if this is going to work. So we go, we about to figure it out tonight. It may not even work. You knew, hey Renee, everybody welcome Renee. I'm so excited to have you here. But thanks to Sean for saying that because that is true. We just trying something out. And like I said, I wanted to make sure I got on here because I told you guys I would. I kind of been MIA and I know I have. So I want to apologize for that. But you know, I'm getting back on. I'm getting back on. I'm on here and I'm going to share my screen. Oh no. See, I messed up. See, this is what I get for talking. The the uh the thing where did it go? When a video messed up, it threw me off. So it's okay, I'll clean it again. So what we have to do is measure. So everything, even though I know the measurement of this, every single time you do a tumbler, you measure it. Okay. You measure it. I have a new size, a nice size audience. I know I love y'all. And it's late. I'm so happy y'all here. So, but every time you do a tumbler, you measure them. And I'm going to show you why. Different tumblers are different from different places. So, this tumbler is longer and skinnier. And this one is a little bit shorter and kind of fatter. So, you can kind of see that. This one is from actual, is Orca coating. It's actually from Heat Press Nation. And then this one... I believe is from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Okay. So they're from two different places. And look, you can visibly see how much taller this one is and how much shorter this one is. Right. So that's why you have to measure them each time you measure them. I'm going to put that down right there. So I have my measuring tape. Thank you all for welcoming Renee. I hope you feel welcome. And then I have my measuring tape. And what I'm going to do is inside of here, it's like a line. Y'all see that? 
So you can do it that way. You don't have to, but you could do it whatever way you want. And you just measure, take your measuring tape and measure it around. And width, so in width, this is a 9.5. 9.5 in width. And I typically write it down, but 9.5 in width, y'all write that down for me. And then real shy of eight inches in height. It's like 7.7, 7.7 7 7.8 or something. So we just go say eight for the sake of it. So eight, so 9.5 in width and eight in height. Now we got to clean it again because I just put the oils on my hand. I don't want this to squirt in my eye. Okay. So, once again, you can wear gloves or you can put your hand inside of here. And then you just clean it. You clean it really, really good because you don't want the oils all the way around. You don't want the oils from your hand or anything to be on here. So, clean it all the way around. Okay. All right, looks good. So now we're going to go into printing the correct size paper. Oh, you have a problem with that? These are 20 ounces. Thank you, Deidre. These are 20 ounces. This one is. Welcome to the dreamland, Al. Welcome. So this is 20 ounces, 9.5 in width, 8 inches in height. And then we clean it off with alcohol, make sure there's no oils and stuff from your hand, lotions, all that stuff on there. And then what I do, because if you have a Cricut, you can't print larger than the like 6.75 by, you know, whatever the measurements are, like nine point, whatever they are. If you know the measurements, you can drop them down there. You can't print larger than that. So what you want to do is I have the business version of Silhouette. You do not have to get that one. For the longest, I had the free version. You can get the free version of Silhouette. You go to Silhouette America, get the free version, and then you can print larger. So that's the main thing. I'm printing on 11 by 17. <laughs> I'm printing on, hold on a second. I'm printing on 11 by 17 paper. And so that the 9.5 in width and 8 inches in height can fit on that. So that's what I'm using. If you have a smaller printer, you may have to actually split the image. And we can talk about that another time. Okay. But so what we're going to do is just go ahead. I'm going to share my screen in Silhouette Studio. And oh, is it if Anita is not Anita today is Anita's birthday. So Anita, if you're watching a replay or if you're if you come on or hop on, happy birthday. Y'all tell Anita happy birthday. Hey Denise, I didn't even see you come in. Y'all welcome in everybody. But yeah, I do want to say happy birthday to Anita. She probably sleep because it's late. Oh, actually, she probably celebrating because it's her birthday. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Silhouette Studio. And I have a couple images. I have this one. Like I said, I got these from Josie. Um, excuse me, from her group. I have these three that I can use for what I'm making. I kind of think I want to do this one. I love this like Starbucks B one. And here's another Michael Kors. So here's the thing. You can't do copyright infringement. So you cannot sell copyright infringement things. I go well, by the book. I go by the rules. So I'm making this for myself. Um, I believe you give stuff like as gifts, but you can't sell things that's not yours because it's copywritten, right? But these are purses. You can make your own design of a purse if you want. But I just said, like I said, I just grabbed these from her group and I just wanted to share with you guys. So what we're going to do is you see right here, it says 11 by 17 paper, uh, the paper. This is 10 inches in width right now. You see that here and it's 8.639 in height. So we're going to resize it. So you can manually do it like this, or you could go to the top and change it. So I'm just going to put in nine point. Sometimes I give it a little bit of room. I'd rather have too much than too little, but we just going to trust the size in today. We, we living on the edge today. And then I'm going to put eight inches in height. I'm going to press enter. And then you saw it, it resized it, right? So we're going to just see if this is going to be the perfect size. If not, we'll make another one. 
Once again, this is Silhouette Studio. I'm in the business edition, but you can use the free edition if you're just coming in. I can't see the screen right now because I'm in another screen. But if you're just coming in, we're just making a little tumbler purse real quick. You know what I'm saying? Something light. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and print this. I have the Workforce Epson 7720. Here's the thing about that. That printer is discontinued. And so a lot of people always talk about talk about that or ask me about my printer. I do not have the current new printers that's out. Um, so I'm still using my handy dandy workforce. Oh, goodness. Sorry. And hopefully I won't have to not use that for a while. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing. And then Helen. Hey, girl. Oh, y'all showing Anita love. We love us some Anita. I love all y'all. Just in case you're watching this replay, girlfriend. Look at all the birthday love. So, my printer looks like it's acting funny. Let's see if it's going to work. Because everything be acting. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Thanks for hopping in so late. So, let's see. Everything's been playing me tonight. But we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. And talking about my camera. Hey, Cheryl. Y'all so sweet. What y'all doing tonight? So while we wait for this to print out, tell me what y'all doing tonight. What are y'all doing tonight? What y'all working on? What's some new crafts y'all want to see? I have to, um, I have that whole list that I got to get to. Hey, Michelle. Helen, I talked about you in my last class. And y'all know my little chair, little, you jumped in. You got to feed the piggies. Oh, well, I'm so happy you jumped in for a minute. But yeah, Helen, I was talking about you in my last class. I was like, Helen, I made so much stuff from her class and she was about to quit. What y'all making? What y'all making? Y'all making some stuff tonight? What y'all doing tonight? Oh, y'all had a, a barn fire? Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay. A bonfire and making s'mores. Mm, that sounds delicious. What type of shirts you doing, Renee? Now I want some s'mores. Thanks, Michelle. I've never done the alligator clips. I'm going to have to uh, YouTube search or Google what those are. Hey, Sandra, you right on time. I'm late. You not late. I'm late. You not late. I'm late. Anita, look, everybody was telling you happy birthday. So let me go back. Happy birthday, Anita. I will sing the birthday song, but I don't want to get copyrighted. But happy, bir happy birthday, girl. Let me go back to the birthday. Let me go back to the birthday post. Because we were just talking about you. I was like, wishing Anita happy birthday. I hope you're having a good night. I don't know if you and your husband was doing something or you and your family or grandkids. Let's go back to the person. To the post. So everybody was telling you happy birthday, Anita. Everybody was giving you all the birthday love, girl. Hope you enjoyed your day. Let me just go back to all the posts telling you happy birthday. You're welcome. I was literally just talking about you. We were talking about you, girl. I miss you too, Carrie. You celebrated all day. That's good. You, you deserve it. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful blessed day. Oh, birthday shirt, shirts. That's good. Okay. So we go. So when it's live, y'all know we get all the real tea. So I'm using Asa. My friend calling me. Why are you calling me? So when we um so okay, that threw me off. So in Silhouette Studio, when you do sublimation, your image has to be mirrored. So you can watch my previous video so you can see how I set up my preset so everything is mirrored and it comes out correctly. Like I said, this is live, so y'all about to get the real, I can't fix anything when stuff mess up. When this paper went through, it turned a little bit. So the image is a little bit crooked. It came out cute. 
you guys may not know if you're new, but what happens is when you print the image, this is Asa Papers Cosmos Ink. My oh, this camera. If y'all just came in, I'm not on my real webcam, so I'm having a hard time with this camera. It's not giving what it's supposed to give, so forgive me. But anywho, it's Asa paper, it's Cosmos ink, and what happens is it's slightly turned a little bit. I'm using the Workforce Epson 7720. It's turned a little bit, but it's okay because I'm literally gonna cut all the way around here. I have a um like a, a page slicer. Oh, and a cutter. Where did I put that cutter at? Where's my page cutter? But it, I'm just going to use scissors for right now. But I have like a slicer. I have a page cutter. So it could be perfect. Maybe I should get that. But some things can be like perfectly cut because it's a little bit off. And that's okay. You can still use it because you're just going to be cutting it around it. Oh, bling t-shirts. Are you making um, t-shirts for your prayer meeting? Hey, Cheryl. Thank you so much. You jumped out of bed? Oh. I miss talking to you too. You didn't have to get out of bed. Girl. It's late. I miss talking to you too. I promise I do. I'm so happy to be on here, even though it's late. And thank y'all for rocking with me so late. I love y'all. She said I hopped out of bed. You did not have to get out of bed. So we're going to just go ahead and I'm going to cut around it as close as possible. Y'all know how I am, how much of a perfectionist I am. But we just going to see what it do. We going to see what it do. So I'm just going to cut this part off. Not perfect. Just to get the excess paper off. Once again, Cosmos Ink, Asa Paper. I'm using my Heat Press Nations Tumbler in the back. And I'm using mugs from Heat um, Transfer Warehouse. And then what I'm doing, I'm literally just cutting as close as possible like kindergarten stuff i'm cutting as close as possible i have the paper slicers but i don't feel like going to grab that right now so i'm just cutting as close as possible i measured it you don't want any white on there because the white will come up so you want to get as close as possible or you can get the paper slicers like i have the paper cutters all of that stuff but we gonna just take it back old school Y'all yeah, was so mad my little um extender thing wasn't working for my webcam. You need to start doing the lies. I need to start doing the lies. Yep, I have that too, Sandra. I do. I got that too. I have all types of stuff. Prime Day. Yep, Prime Day is tomorrow. So I need to drop my um hey Willie. I need to drop my Amazon affiliate link. I'll be putting it on there. So if y'all shop Prime, y'all can use my affiliate link. I do need to start doing lives. I was there last week and I was here this week, and either I'm gonna do the lives, y'all. I'm gonna do the lives and I'm gonna do the videos. I told y'all, I know people been inboxing me on Instagram, on Facebook. Y'all have not been playing with me, and I love y'all for that because I miss y'all too. I promise I do, and I should not have cut it with my hand, but we're gonna. But, and my hand be unsteady because of my grades. Why somebody try to play me on Instagram? That's like your hand was shaking. I'm like, it's a medical condition. You don't know what be wrong with people. <laughs> Trying to talk about me. He's like, oh, that's what you get. I'm trying to talk about somebody. Because my hands do not be steady like they used to be. People don't know what people be going through. But it was, it was I mean, it's not funny, but it was funny. All right. So like I said, I just cut as close as possible, cut along the lines, just like using kindergarten. And that's, that's cool. You got some ghosting? Did you tape it real good? I think this Fufu, you said Shanita Boo. I think that's you. Your name didn't come up. But hey, Fufu, if that's you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Need about to get him. She said, I don't play about you. I know I don't play about you either. So you got some ghosting. All right. So now I'm going to grab one second, y'all. I got this scotch. Thing where you could just clip it and you could pull the tape off. Yep, I knew that was you. You said Shanita Boo. I knew it was you. 
Hey, Joy, thank you. You covered it with shrink wrap? You taped it, you covered it with shrink wrap. See, this is why I like my tumbler press. It wasn't no air in it. Okay, so I'm going to come back to you real quick, Michelle. So now, remember, I cleaned this off with alcohol. I'm going to make sure that it's the right side up. This is backwards because when you do sublimation, you mirror your images. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on there. And now I could make sure nothing's on there. Now I'm going to wrap it around. And you want to make sure your measurements are good, right? It's good top and bottom. It's almost, it's perfect top and bottom, y'all. Let's see this scene. Ooh, don't play with me. Mm. Then look at the scene, y'all. It's perfect. It's perfect. So even with me cutting it with my hands and doing the measurements, it's perfect. This is how you want your seam to be. Because you kind of want it to, um, you, can, you, you can't overlap it a little bit. If you don't want to overlap, you just have to really make sure it's perfect. But overlapping, it won't hurt nobody. Now, here's the good thing about the tumbler press. Once I put this on here, I don't have to take the top and the bottom. So it, it helps you with... Um, saving money with tape but if you want to you can so you can make sure you prevent the ghosting so it's all kind of up to you i'm gonna just scoot it probably up a little bit because i'd rather it be more at the top or bottom no i think this is perfect okay so it looks really it looks really good guys i literally the measurements were perfect what you do is once you put the um paper on the substrate anything that you're sublimating is called a substrate so what you do is <laughs> it's perfect what you do is you put it on there and then i'm gonna put one piece of tape first this is cricut tape i got this from michael's i think i'm gonna put it over here and i typically have it already torn off but and then what you do is, it's a couple ways you can tape it. You can tape it up and down, or you can tape it left to right. I'm going to tape it left to right, because what I'm going to do is, the piece that's going to be going over the top, I'm pushing and squeezing any air out. You don't want any air on your tumblers. You can watch, I think I have like two or three tumbler beginner videos. So you don't want any air on your tumbler. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put get the tape, and I'm going to smush it over. Right, you can put it at the top, that's fine. The main thing is that you're rolling this really tight so that it's no air because you don't want any air bubbles. Okay, so you want to like twist and roll it, twist and roll it. And I do the ones to the side, that's just how I do it. You can do it up and down, however you want to do it, but I do it to the side so I can make sure it's tight. And I'm gonna pull some of this tape off because that's just how. I want to do it and then I could easily put the tape so I could put tape all the way up and down and then one in the middle or I could do like a like the top the middle the bottom and then do one down it just you just want to make sure that seam is looking good you got an early prime email for tumblr press all tumblr presses are not creating equal Sandra so I only one I can speak on is the heat press nation one and i know it costs it's a nice price however it has never failed me so and if anything was wrong it probably was my fault but i have had not one issue with it so look at the reviews so when you're getting things off amazon make sure you look at the reviews make sure you look at the return policies different things like that i know heat Transfer Warehouse has a great tumbler press. Everything they have is great. Heat Press Nation. Those are the places that I will get my stuff from for that particular thing. Because I have a y'all know I had that tumbler press my friend had got from um China directly, and it was and it's still in my other room, and it was not good. So I was so sad and disappointed. So I just went ahead and got the one I knew that would work. And then y'all see, I'm literally just squeezing the air out, twist, squeezing the air out and taping it over. And like I said, you don't have to do it this way. You could have just put it down. But I just like, I like doing it this way because I make sure it's tight. That's just my preference. You know, 
is, but y'all know, I always say, it's multiple ways to skin a cat. So one person's way is not the only way, it's not the perfect way. You may find a whole nother way to do it. I may need just like four more pieces. So for the birthday shirts, how old is the person you're doing the birthday shirts for? I think four should be enough. Hopefully. I'll do five just in case I can save it. Oh, you got your 16 by 20 heat press from Heat Press Nation. You love it. It's the bomb. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, y'all. No, Alpha, I'm not using a convection. I do have a convection oven. I have, I think it's Oster or Oyster Convection Oven I grabbed from Target a couple years ago, but I'm not using that one today. I'm using my lovely Heat Press Nation Tumblr Press back there. I love that. When I say I love it, make sure it's tight still, no air. And if and four of them was enough, but I just got that extra piece now, which is fine. All right, so with the tumbler press, you technically don't have to go around the top. I don't know if I want to do it, though, because if you just my look, I say you don't have to when you need it, and I need it. We just go double up. Tiny, hey, Tiny. Hey, hey, hey. You getting off work, be safe. The shrink wrap helps it tighten up too. So you know how I'm making sure it's tight? The shrink wrap just helps it tight. So the tighter, the better. So you don't want air to get inside. So you see how I'm pressing it down? I've been to pop one of these nails off because one of them is, is on his last leg. But what you want is when you're doing tumblers, you don't want any excess air. Air leaves that ghost in. It leaves white spots. It's just you want everything to be literally as tight as possible so the shrink wrap just helps with tightening but see i don't need a shrink with a tumbler press because the tumbler press is tight around it itself so the shrink wrap is for if you're using the oven and the oven is a lot more cost effective so you could go and get an oven for like a hundred dollars somewhere i get the extra large i have the extra large i think i start link that's how i believe that's how you spell it o-s-t-e-r i got mine from target but you can use any convection oven and it's a debate saying whether or not you could eat food out of it i'm not eating food out of something that got die i'm not doing that so if you want to do that you know yolo but I'm, I have a, a convection oven specifically just for my tumblers. And I'm not eating out of it. That's just my, my choice. I do it. I use it for crafting. All right. So now we have tape on the seam, tape on the top, tape on the bottom. I don't know the last time I pressed the tumbler. So while I'm talking, I hope it comes out good. But there's no air in here. That's for sure. It's tight. You want to make sure there's no air. You can put this down if you want to make sure it gets all the way in there. But technically, I didn't even have to put it at the top and bottom with the tumbler press. So what happens with the tumbler press is you caught one of my lives. Hi, thank you so much. Great teaching. You, you're not late. Welcome, Teresa. Hey. Yeah, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I'm just putting y'all comments up. You finally caught a live. Hey, Denise, thank you for the compliments. You agree? You got the Hamilton Beach Extra Large Convection from Walmart. See, $79, and you love it. So that works. Thanks, for, Thank you, Sandra. So there you go, the convection oven. You could get one from Walmart. I just would get the extra large one because one thing that people do like to do is put multiple things in there at once. So that's something. You love me? I love you too, Deja. Thank you. And I'm chilling tonight. Thank you so much. Hey, Candace. Hey, Glitz and Glam. Hey, y'all. Hey. Okay, so I have my heat press. Not my heat press. Yeah, my, my tumbler press. It's on 386 for 190 seconds. Okay, guys? So it really is supposed to be 385, but it just got a little bit hotter, and that's okay. You always want to be safe. I hope this come out right, y'all. You always want to be safe. 
and use your heat gloves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in. I wish y'all could see it. Let me see. Okay. So there we go. So this is the tumbler press. Okay, guys. So you see it's, it's, um, you see it like you lay the tumbler inside of there. All right. And then we close it up. So I'll bring it back in a second. So what I'm going to do is I want the seam to always be in the inside because it is a small opening at the top of the tumbler press. So I'm going to put this in with the seam on the bottom. And then I'm literally, can y'all see that? I'm just sliding it in there. And before I turn the heat press on, before I turn the heat press on, I, um, met, I made sure that it was in there and it was tight. So it wouldn't move. So it's in there. And it's tight. Let me show y'all. See there? You see how it's like that little bit at the top? And that's the part I'm going to just put this on for the 190 and then I'm going to rotate it. Okay? Now I'm just going to cook and bake. So as it cooks and bakes, it's a lot of y'all on here tonight. Hey, y'all. We're just making this part, these tumbler purses. So I'm going to put um, the links in my Amazon store. And Prime is tomorrow, so y'all can use my links. And what I'll do, because I am an affiliate with Amazon, and I do have to let you guys know, I do get a small commission, so I have to let you guys know that. So I appreciate any support. So what happens is, we don't know if this going to work with the uh, heat gun, the hot gun. People say use resin. It's the cement you get. I don't have that right now. So, and I was going to go, but it was late, and um, Home Depot and Lowe's was closed. So this is the chain I got from Amazon. The thing go start buzzing, it's gonna scare me. This is the chain I got from Amazon. And then these are the side things. Like I said, it might not work, y'all. And if it don't, I'm just gonna cover it up when I get that cement because I don't use resin. So what you do is you have these little like, they look like door knockers. They look like door knockers. And you glue them on the side of the tumbler. And then you attach the chain so it can look like a purse. So it's like been a crave like last month. It's been like really in the craft where people have been like loving these. So like I said, I'm literally just going to try it. The glue gun may not even last for a long time. Like I said, I don't know. I've never seen a video on it. I've never watched it. I haven't really been on so I don't know. But I know people say use UV resin, but I don't use resin. Use this thing called cement. And I'm just going to try it with my glue gun today. See if it works. And if it doesn't, then we'll know. It doesn't work with your glue gun. So that's what we'll know. Thank you, y'all, for helping the people in the comments. Thank y'all for answering the questions. I'm good, Kimberly. You want to be like me when you grow up? <laughs> oh, I love you. You are so sweet. I want to be like you. You use the mug press, people use it. Thank you, Kimberly. That's really sweet. And thank you, Anita, on her birthday. So if y'all have just came in here, please wish Anita a happy, blessed, wonderful birthday. Because y'all know we love some Anita up in here. And y'all, thank y'all for answering the people's questions. All right, y'all. We got a couple more seconds. It's going to scare me to turn it. Some that beep and be scaring me sometimes. I'm good, though, Kimberly. Thank you. Thanks, Brenda, for wishing her happy birthday. Welcome to all the new members, all the new members in Queen Dreamer, all my new um, IG followers. Y'all, I got fourth. Oh, I hit 45K on YouTube today. I uh, let's see. Let me, let me turn it. So you open it up, and then you just turn it. And you don't turn it. You turn it so the part, oh, I won't pay attention. I hope I turned it right. You turn it so the part that was out at the top, that part gets pressed because the heat is what, so what happens is when you do tumblers, the heat is what, um, what, the heat is what activates the sublimation ink. So the heat of the tumbler press activates the ink for the sublimation and then it goes into the sublimation substrate so tumblers are substrates shirts are substrates anytime i say substrates that's 
what the ink is going to be going into. And it has to have a specific coating. So if it's shirts, you only can sublimate on polyester. People are like, why isn't my 100% cotton shirt sublimating? Because sublimation ink will wash out a cotton. It won't work. You have to use polyester for shirts. For any type of cups, mugs, you can't go just to the Dollar Tree and get a regular mug. You have to have a sublimation mug. So when you use sublimation, anything, it has to be specifically for sublimation, okay? So that's something you want to be aware of. You can't just go grab anything and try to sublimate on it. People do test and try, like how we got these. And I got to get my, my brother had came over here too. I got to get him this. We had did this like a couple weeks ago. And um, this was from Walmart. And someone just played around and it was able to sublimate on it. So I don't know what this coating is, but they were able to sublimate on it. I have other ones too. But that's something you want to think of. But you want to make sure you're getting sublimation materials from sublimation places. My number one place to get things from is, excuse me, um, heat transfer warehouse. That's where I get majority of my sublimation, my vinyl, everything. I love heat transfer warehouse. And shout out to heat transfer warehouse because heat transfer warehouse is flying your girl out at the end of the month. And we go be out and... Y'all go see. Y'all got to watch the video and the vlogs, and I'm going to explain where we're going. But so shout out to Heat Transfer Warehouse. I love you guys so, 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 so much. So, yeah. But, yeah, y'all, I hit 45K today on YouTube. It was 45K, 45.05. So thank y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate you guys so much. I wish you a happy birthday, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, I was on there and I was like, oh, I didn't even know because I hadn't even been in my back office like I should have. Thank y'all. I'm a great teacher. Thank you, Theodore. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of y'all. Every single last one of y'all. I love and appreciate y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. But yeah, so I'm 45 count here. Then I'm 4,000 on Instagram. Y'all know I'm trying to get to 10K on Instagram. So that's exciting because y'all know I was at like a thousand or something for the longest. Then I was stuck at two thousand something for the longest. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna bring y'all in. Woo. So I'm bringing y'all just a little closer and I'm opening it up. And then you see how you see that pink? That means that the heat is activated. So we're gonna let it just sit for a minute. But y'all, I don't know if y'all could see, you should be able to see the color through the paper. That's how you know it is working. So when you see the color through the paper, we're gonna sit that down there, let it cool off for a minute. Now my brain, my twists are everywhere. I don't even, I'm up here looking silly. But we're gonna let that cool off for a second. And um, yeah, thank y'all so much. Ooh, ooh, yeah. yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Sharon. Faison. Shanita, did you convert your workforce? Yes. I converted my workforce. I have a video showing how I converted my workforce too. I have a video showing that. It's a couple years old, but it, it still works. So if you get an old workforce and you want to convert it, I could I show you how to do that. My regular prints, I use the HP. So HP, y'all, a lot of y'all on here. I love y'all. Mm. Oh my gosh. But my eight, my regular printer is an HP Office Jet Pro 9015. Okay, I got that from Best Buy a couple years ago. And that has, I love it. It does wonders for me. I've never had a problem with it. Actually, except that one time when I was on live. That's the only time I ever had a problem with that printer. La the Two months ago, I think, online. But I use that for my regular prints. And um, what I like about HP is that they have the unlimited ink program. And what that means is that anytime your ink gets low, it's a program you pay a set amount every single month. And anytime your ink gets low, you... Sandra, Sandra said, let's get the, de let's get the deets. She said 4266. Thank you, Sandra. That's how many people on my Instagram. She's so silly. She went and got the, she went and got the exact amount. Thank you, girl. So <laughs> for my, um, regular print printer for my HP, um, 
that's what I use. And you have unlimited ink. So like I said, what that means is once my ink is low, they automatically send me out new ink so that I never run out. So you get like unlimited ink, a certain amount of sheets every single month. And y'all know I was printing those planners. And um, I need to print my planner some more. I'm about to start sharing how I use my planner more because so I could so because I don't even the program I need right now, I don't necessarily need it that much, but I was plant printing out planners and journals and I was using all of that ink. So if you use a lot of ink, that unlimited unlimited. Blah, 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 unlimited ink from hp is amazing it's the bomb because you never run out because they always send you new ink and it just it works wonders it's what is that noise y'all hear that ticking is that my heat press or something clicking over there but um is this the machine let me turn this off because i don't think i'm doing another one i don't think so so um and i gotta unplug it but so yeah so the unlimited ink if you do like journals or if you print a lot would be amazing for you i love my hp i don't have no problems with it so that worked for me anybody else um what printers do you guys like because sharon is hearing it's 83 of y'all on here at 11 21 hey y'all if everybody hopped on i'm sorry about this camera i don't have my webcam because my little extender from five below stopped working for me so i'm sorry about that but thank y'all for taking time to be on here with me i love y'all i miss y'all i appreciate y'all i had to pop on You scared to convert it? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I can help you. You love instant ink. Instant ink is amazing. And you've been subscribed for years. See? So, that go another test. And see? Anita loves it too. Don't be talking about Michael Myers. Y'all know I'm from the D. I've been to say some stuff and YouTube tried to take up on my unmonetized me. Some song is Michael Myers. I ain't scared of Michael Myers. Michael Myers should be scared of me. Bad 99 a month wrapped it and shrink wrap mm -mm, you don't do that angela got the workforce 7820 renee has the sawgrass 500 and i'm assuming they like that dr charlotte used instant ink as well hayes has the epson workforce 7840 and a workforce 2720 you in the ddj Pull up, y'all. I was gonna have um peace in the park this Sunday, but I'm nobody really was saying nothing, so I canceled it and then I did a photo shoot. <laughs> it's reasonable, it is. Sandra has two Epson 7710, 7720, 12, uh, 12570, and the HP 5545. Sandra got all the printers, and Kim Kimberly has the HP as well, and love it, love it, love it. See. Yeah, I have no problems with my HP. Michelle has the Epson 2570 and Canon for regular print. Canon works good too, I heard. Uh -oh. Make sure everything okay. Y'all know what that noise is? It's my tape. It's the tape on the printer. Denise has the Epson 4700. Dr. Charlotte looking for another, another printer. She does. What HP? Candace said, which HP do you have? She has the Envy Photo, but she have a hard time using cardstock. I have the Office Jet Pro um, 9015. Anita has a workforce 15,000 and a workforce 2720 and an HP. Thank you so much. Who is that? Thank you. You like your Cricket Mug Press? Workforce 7720. Oh, you got the end of 7710. Angel, you got the same thing I got. All right. Hopefully, it's enough time and we're going to see if this is doing what it's supposed to do. I hope it worked. So I'm going to take my weeder. But yeah, it was the, the, what the noise was, was this popping up. My friend, I got to make sure everything okay. All right. Uh-oh. 
So what you want to do is if you use this, you have to be very careful because you do not want to. Oh, hey, Anissa. Thank you so much. Candace has the eco tank. I, I want an eco tank, y'all. Epson, you about to repo It's dying? Oh, no. I just was about to say I wanted one. She has two workforces, one for sublimation, one for pigment. And you getting rid of one for sublimation. Okay, so what you going to get? I'm not doing DTF. I don't know if I'll ever do DTF. The only way I'll do DTF is if anyone wants to provide me with a DTF printer, I'd be more than happy to do DTF. So if any sponsors or brands want to work with me with their DTF printers, it looks as though my subscribers, my dreamers want me to do DTF. So if you're thinking about it, go ahead and email me at dodreamon3 at gmail.com. And we could get this DCF working since that's what my subscribers want. They're asking for it. If you guys, if you brands want to work with me with it, how at your girl. Email me, dodreamon3 at gmail.com if you want to provide a DCF printer for, and I can review it, unbox it for my subscribers. They asking, they asking for, hey, Delanda, hey girl, hey, how you doing? Seeing the ink for the 7840 is expensive. I thought I wanted the EcoTank. See, I don't know. And this is it. She got the six, EcoTank 16650. Oh my gosh, it's 82 of y'all on here. Please, 83 of y'all. Please like the video, y'all. This was Sandra got. Deidre, you love the EcoTank? Said work it. I'm just saying, you know, y'all, my, my, my subscribers. Are saying they'll purchase some DTF printers. You know, if y'all want to get this money, if y'all want to get these people that's gonna purchase y'all DTF printers, y'all know my subscribers be buying stuff. Oh, wait, we got to do this together. My subscribers, they don't play when they like something. So I'm about to unwrap it. Now, let's be mindful. This image was from a group, shout out to Josie, from Josie's group. I don't know who had the original image. I don't know what the pixels were or anything. So we're going to see how this turned out. This was just something she sh shared in the group. And I, y'all, look how good this is looking. I don't even know where this picture came from, y'all. But baby, let's see what this scene looking like. Don't play with me. Look at this, y'all. I be, I got these tumblers. We go wait to the bottom. I'm going to wait. Let's wait. I don't want to talk too soon. Look at this scene, though. I need y'all to see this. Seam where? What seam where does it connect? Tell me where does it connect? Look at that scene. Y'all better stop. <laughs> I ain't even did a tumbler in much, y'all. <laughs> we gotta wait to the bottom. Let's wait to the bottom. While I'm talking all this junk, let's wait to the bottom. But this top and this scene, boy, boy. Like I said, I don't even know what pixels this is. I don't know nothing. Let's wait to the bottom. The bottom about to be released. We about to see how the bottom looking. We about to see how the bottom looking. And it's all the way wrapped up tight. Let's see what the bottom. Y'all, it really ain't about to come off. Now the bottom ain't even about to come off for us to see it. Hold on. Come on. Let's see. Y'all, really, it's taking all of this to get this bottom off. The suspense is agonizing. You better stop playing. You better stop. Look at this dang on tumbler. Look at the look at this. Baby. <laughs> Baby, what? There's no ghosting. There's nothing. Seam where? Where does the seam even connect, y'all? Tell me where does it connect? Y'all, this is a good tang on tumbler. This tumbler is good. Look at the top. Y'all, it's not one thing wrong with this. Y'all know how hard I am on myself? Look at this seam, though. Baby. What? Look at it. Look at it. I'm proud of this tumbler. It ain't one pocket of air. It ain't, and I was, y'all want to know the truth, truth? I was nervous. I said, oh, my goodness, I ain't did no tumbler in the longest. I'm about to be live. It messed up. It ain't nothing that I can do about it. And this tumbler is literally perfect. And it's pink and it's so pretty. Now, remember, the image was just taken from the group. So the image is it's good, but it's not 
a hundred. I I didn't make it in Canva, so the pixels are not, you know. But baby, thank you, Josie. But look at this bottom. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. Y'all know how it is when y'all get these tumblers, cause you be and I'm like, let me not talk junk in the bottom and be like a little white spot or messed up or air pocket, baby. But what I did was I made sure I wrap. It's 93, y'all. This is the most I had on the lab before ever. 95. Let's not. Don't get to 100. Share this with some people, y'all. Let's get to 100 tonight. I'm popping my earring off. I'm excited. I ain't did a tumbler in so long. And this tumbler is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I'm impressed. I literally cannot see where the seam is attached for real. This is so good. Anywho, shout out to us. We did that. Look at this. Look, <laughs> y'all so silly. She said perfect seam. Oh my goodness. Okay. So what's the problem? So you guys literally saw what I did. Y'all saw how I I made sure the measurements were correct. I made sure the measurements were. Oh, you cried. Hey, Marie. It's Silhouette America, and you could Google it. So I'm going to come, like, wait, let me see what y'all saying. Y'all so silly. All the love. We're going to talk about it, Hayes. Angela, this scene, y'all, I cannot. Thanks, boo. Thanks, to birthday girl, Anita. I want to sing the birthday song so bad, but they had copyright flag me so bad. So y'all just sing it at home for her. Thank y'all for the love. I appreciate y'all. Let me take this glove off. Feeling like Michael Jackson. May he rest in peace. Josie's group is the best uni crew. That's her group. Shout out to you, Josie. Y'all tell Josie if y'all go over there that I shouted her out. Mine and tips on the image on Facebook. He's really nice image on her. Okay, so that's where you guys get the images. So I'm always funny with images and stuff because, like I said, for copyright reasons, I don't know where it came. I don't know nothing about nothing. I never heard of him. I don't know. But, you know, so that's something else. I don't know nothing about that. A lot of people on the purse. Yeah, the purse tumblers are popping right now. Hey, Vivian, I ain't see you. And hey, everybody, if I didn't call your name out, I apologize. I may not have seen you, so I apologize, and I love you, and please forgive me. Y'all sleeping on Shani in her Canva class. Her Canva class is a bomb. Joy. Joy. I love you, Joy. Thank you. Man, we had a ball in that Canva class. Did we not? Did we not have a ball in that Canva class? A ball ball. So, hey, author, authoress. Hey, Shay. Author Shay, congratulations on being an author. It is Asa Paper and Cosmos Inc. Thank you, Theodore. Your theme showed up heavy and was ghosting. And I got ghosting. I was following along. What did you use? And did you use a Tumblr press? Y'all ready for the... Do y'all want to camp a cl another class Another class in July? We did it. We had a ball. We, we had a ball. Nope, it's not on the calendar yet. But I could do another one in um, July. Y'all, look at this. Just, and I'm keeping it on because I want them all. So the Canva class, I post the Canva class on Facebook, on Instagram. I have to send the emails again. Um, on my Facebook groups, on TikTok, on YouTube. So I'm always showing y'all. It's always typically, it was earlier this month. It's typically the second or third Friday in a month. But I did it earlier this week because I'm going to be out of town. I thought I was going to be out of town somewhere else. Um... And so I wanted to get it out the way, but I can have another Canva class in July if y'all want. And then we def for sure doing one in August. Do another one in July. Okay. You go come. So the ink, I've been using this ink since I started sublimation. Let's just admire this. I've been using this ink since I started sublimation. So I've never used ink before. A couple people have reached out to me about trying their ink and I'm open to trying if you're a brand and you want me to try your ink, since I've only used Cosmos ink and you see that my subscribers are interested in ink, 
reach out to me and we can figure that out as well. My email is dodream13 at gmail.com for all business sponsorships, things like that. And we can discuss all of those things. So I've only used Cosmos Inc. ever. That's literally, okay, we're not doing this. This was this what we're going to do. That's all. So I literally have only used Cosmos Inc. in my life. I've never used anybody else's ink. Okay. I don't know if this go work. So this came out perfect and that's fine. Okay. So we going to see if this thing go stick on here. Now here's the part I would probably, if I'm really doing this, I wouldn't do this like this. I would, um, what I would do, what I would do is, I literally would perfectly measure from one side to the next because you don't want one up or one down. So this is going to be just for right now because what I would do is I would measure. So what I'm going to do for this one, it's a line right here. And I'm going to put it on this line and I'm going to put it on a line on the other side. But if I was really, really doing this for someone else or for a video or something, I literally would take my measuring tape excuse me guys, I will wrap it around and then I will mark where it is. I will make sure it's the exact same place on each side because you don't want one up, one down, one not right. You don't want it to look janky. Okay. It's a beautiful image. And then your chain, your purse is looking bootleg. We don't want that. But right now I don't have time for all of that. So I'm just going to put it on this line here and then put it on the other line. And we just going to cross our fingers because I literally don't have to, I just, I'm not about to do all of that. But if you're, like I said, if you're selling, well, if you're selling it, make your own purse. Don't use a copyrighted purse. Don't do that. So if you're selling, you can make your own purse. Actually, I could have made my own purse in Canva. Um, you can make your own purse. And if you're selling it, make sure it's perfect. If you're giving it as a gift, if you're doing it for yourself, make sure it's perfect. Right now, I'm just doing this for the sake of the video. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take the glue gun. I don't even know if this is going to work, y'all. We did the perfect tumbler, so at least we did something perfect for tonight. I'm putting a hot glue on here. People say use UV resin. Josie got UV resin as well. There's somebody said do something called cement. And see, this 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 uh dry kind of quick. I'm going to get some cement. Oh, and here's another thing. You want to make sure that when you put the little doorbell knocker on, you put it to the to the side so you can clip it so it can actually hang. But you want to make sure y'all know how much of a perfectionist I am. You want to just make sure things are in the right spot. The one thing about the glue is once it dry, you kind of peel it off, but you don't want to uh, have it on there messed up. Y'all know how hot glue gun work. Like I told you, I don't know if this going to work. I never saw a video on this, nothing. I just saw a picture and I said, oh, I want to do it. So if you're going to really do this, make sure you use that cement they were talking about or UV resin or something like that. This glue gun on here though, low key, high key. This glue gun, it ain't looking like it's moving. Hot glue and it's Gorilla Glue too. Hey, Donna. Yes, Cosmo Eek only for sublimation printers. Good night, Anita. Have a happy birthday. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. I may even call you tomorrow. Inbox me with your schedule looking like so I can actually call you. Love you, Anita. Happy birthday. You don't have to seal sublimation tumblers. Nope. Good night. You use Hippo Haze. Joy, you love Cosmo. Your image is popping through the pixel trick you told me about. Yes, Angela. You got that pixels. The pixels popping. Angela, I think I shouted you out earlier before you got on here. Good night. Good night, y'all. Yeah, but sublimation, you do not have to. Now I almost want to make sure it's perfect because this is looking good. I didn't know if it was going to work. So let's see what we're going to do. Where's my measuring tape? I may just eyeball it on this line right here. So I'm just eyeballing. It's a line on the purse. But what you want to do is you can kind of cheat. You can put the hook on here. What I wouldn't want is to be carrying this and then this thing fall. 
this out here kind of good though. So, mm -hmm. is it good? It ain't that good. See, that's what you get for talking too quick. Y'all get the real glue stuff. Let me see. Get the real glue stuff, y'all. Get the resin or that's the cement glue. Look at my hair. My hot mess. At least mess up when I'm off camera. Now I mess up when I'm on camera. So y'all, I'm letting y'all know. I'm telling y'all right now, don't use the hot glue. Don't be like Shanita. I'm about to put my hair up in the bun. What am I doing? Don't don't use hot glue. But so this is how it's gonna be. And I could have put it up higher too. So this is all a learning experience. I could have put it up higher. Because this ain't really chain. This ain't really hanging, hanging. I should have put it up higher, y'all. So make sure y'all put it up higher and then get the right glue. Okay. Uh oh. Did my camera move? All right. It don't even matter at this point. So what I'm probably going to do is when I do get the right glue, and my fan is on too. I'll probably, if this comes off, I'll just get the right glue and do it. Hopefully it won't, but if it does, then I'll get the right glue. Make sure it's high enough. So use the chain first so you can make sure that the chain is in the right spot. But this is still, this is good lessons, y'all. Y'all know I keep it real. And I'll let y'all know what works and what doesn't. Y'all know what cement glue I'm talking about? On my last live, they was talking about it. I'm over here looking at trash. There's so many of y'all on here so late. What is going on? Okay. So here's the top. Make sure when you're putting it in the convection oven or the tumbler press, whatever, do not leave the top on. It will melt. Y'all, at low key, I still think this turned out cute. Look at that. Look at that. You could put the chain to the front. I would just put it up higher. So make sure you measure. I will put it up higher and I will get the right glue. But in all essence, this is your purse. This is a chain purse. Definitely put it up higher so it could actually like swing and hang. So put it up higher and um, get the right glue. But we did that. What trick you do? You had to take the class, Michelle. The trick is in the class. Good night. Girl, I talked. I, talk, I gave so many tricks. I, I gave so many tricks in that class. We talked. We was on there for so many hours. Yeah, Marie, I did. You watched my video? I talked about the colors popping too. You love my hair like that? Thank you, Delanda. Child error. Yeah, it's it's good. Thank you. Thank y'all. I love it. I really love it. Yeah, I like this. But yep. So, like I said, I didn't watch nobody's video. I didn't watch nothing. I just did this on my own, but definitely put it up. I mean, you could hold it, but it ain't person like it's supposed to purse. Because it's not, I should just rip this off, but I'd be scared I might mess the ink up. But yeah, so that's how you do it. And then you got your little, little drink it drink. Little sophisticated drink it drink. Y'all got to see, see the colors. See, this lighting in this camera not letting y'all see how these colors are popping. These colors are popping, baby. That seam, the bottom, the top. We did good, y'all. Now y'all know what not to do and what to do. Yep, I should have definitely got that up higher, but that's okay. You live and you learn, baby. You live and you learn. And that's it, y'all. That's that. Y'all want this other Canva class? I need at least five people to get the Canva class for me to do it a different day. 
I need for another time in June, I mean July, I need five people to do the class. The class ninety nine dollars. It's uh three hours. Last time we was on there for four hours. We had a ball. Do you understand me? I mean, we had every time we do class, we have a good time. Do you understand me? It was so much fun. We was over there. We were on there an hour over. You need to jump on the bed. Jump on the bandwagon. Y'all know what I don't like. I don't like when people be like, oh, can I, I shouldn't do it because everybody doing it. It's crafting. Everybody doing crafting. Do it. It's cute. Y'all like it? Thank you, Theodore. Oh, yeah. Let me get my Amazon affiliate link because Prime Day is tomorrow. Y'all, I got to get my water. I'm going to share too. And I am an affiliate with Amazon. I have to share that. I do get a small commission if you guys use my Amazon affiliate link. I have to let you guys know that. Be upfront and honest. So it's a disclaimer on under every single one of my videos. Thank you so much, Angela. Good night, Theodore. You said you tried it once. You turned your presser on right now. You about to make another one? You make another one. Yes. Count you in. Candace said the Canva class is a bomb. You really want to take it. Candace, didn't we have ourselves a great time? Joyce said you will learn so much. I learned so much. We talked about everything in that Canva class, y'all. You ready to make the next Canva class? Do y'all want them on a Friday? Right now, it could be any day. Fridays are typically good because it's the weekend and people are up late. I mean, you can be up late. You don't have to go to work on Saturday typically. So that's why I kind of did on Fridays. And when Maddie was here, I did on Fridays because I could get a babysitter for her. But Maddie's not here for the summer. She's on vacation. So technically, if you guys want them on a different day, I'm going to put in the group and I'm going to put in the... um. I'm going to put in the group and I'm going to put on the community tab. If it's a different day, I mean, I could do a Canva class tomorrow if y'all want to do it. I mean, I'll do it tomorrow, but it's up to you guys. I literally have a Canva class tomorrow, but I want at least five people in a class. If I'm going to do another one, it could be whatever day y'all want. Uh, don't matter to me. It could be a Saturday. It could be Sunday. But, you know, if y'all got to work on Monday, y'all might not want to be up late. I'll be up. So it's up to y'all because it's three hours. And like I said, we went to four hours the last class. And most times we got like three and a half hours. So we'll go over because I want to make sure all the questions are answered, that I went over everything I said I would and I gave extras and all of that. So we go over everything. Then we be talking, laughing, acting silly. So if y'all want a class tomorrow, let me know. But I just need five people. I will have that five people to do the class. Joy said Canva is a powerful program. It's so much more than design. It is. And that's what, one of the things we learned, right? We had so much fun, Candice. You need to take it. That's good for you. Friday is good for you. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be considerate. You need to take one. You new to all of this? Okay, wait. So there's one. It's like three people, four people. Y'all want to do it this Friday? Do y'all want to do the Canva class this Friday? I'll drop a link. I'll drop a link and y'all can pay and we can do it this Friday. Hey, Lizzie. Hey, girl. Hey. You new? Welcome, Mona. Typically, the classes are at 6 o'clock because it's like three and a half hours, three. So I do them at 6 o'clock. So typically, if you're on the East Coast uh, or Midwest, if you're on Eastern, not that is here, if you're on Eastern um, specific, I mean, Eastern time, then I do it like at 6 o'clock. I know Pacific. Irma came through early. She got off work early so that she could come and get it, the class. So it's up to y'all. The class is $99, $99.99. When I tell you it's worth every single penny, if it was worth every single penny for y'all, y'all let everybody know. We go over every single thing in Canva. It's so much. Hey, it is it. do y'all think it's beginner friendly? It's beginner friendly. The, the people that went to the class, do y'all think it's beginner friendly and do y'all think it's worth it? Yes, this Friday. You in the D, Mona? <laughs> what up, though, sis? So you would love to learn Canvas, Sheila? So I typically have 
one Canva class every single month. But if you guys want another one this month, I'll do it. I just need five people to hold that spot. But I do them typically the second or third Friday of every single month. But if y'all want two Canva classes in a month, y'all just let me know. I just need y'all to sign up for it. Because every time I do one, people are like, oh, I'm going to do the next one. I'm doing the next one. That's okay. I get it. I understand. You know, it, but it's an investment that could literally help you make so much more money. What up, though? Y'all, we got to do a meet and greet for real in Detroit. I was trying to do a pizza in the park, and not that many people was responding. So I'm like, I would do a pizza in the park. Joy said it's beginner friendly and it's at least worth two fifty. Thank you, girl. And I'm and I'm not charging y'all that. I'm just charging y'all ninety nine dollars. You are so sweet. But we, when I said we got down in those classes, we really like we we every single class that I have is just so good. I got to send y'all the replay. I just thought about that. I got to send y'all the replay. You got family in Detroit. Okay, Hayes. All right, y'all. Do y'all have any other questions? Look at this tumbler. I love this little tumbler. I really love it. I still can't get over this thing. This thing's so good. On the bottom and the top. I'm sorry, y'all. These tumbler presses, like I said, they haven't filled me one time. Perfect every time because it gives a perfect, it gives the perfect like tightness, the perfect heat is just so good. But yeah, we did that. We did that tonight. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I appreciate you off on Friday. You in whenever the next class, she said, whenever it is, as long as it's on a Friday. Thank you. Have a good night, Fufu. You wish you would have saw it earlier? Why? What happened? I got you. I promise I got y'all. I'll probably just send it out when we get off here. That's okay. I, I do them every month. So if you can't do it, do it every month. You have every Friday. Oh, that worked good, Denise. All right. I'm going to put this stuff out there. and We're going to see y'all. We could do it this Friday. YOLO. I'm going to make the link and then I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop it on the community tab, on Facebook, on Instagram, on my Do Dream On Facebook page, on the Queen Dreamer group. It's going to be everywhere. And my Instagram is a milkshake link. And in that link, you can click that and you'll see it. You watch all my videos. Thank you. What's your name? <gasps> your printer broke Shay. did you have insurance on it i am so sorry and yeah and so what i do is i typically do it every second or third um friday in a month so everybody can save up so you can start saving up for the next month so i typically do that that's why i do it. and that's why everyone's like when the next class it's for sure either the second or the third friday of every single month so you know from what Every single month, you have a chance to take the class because I do it every month. Because I understand it be like that. I'm so sorry to happen to you, Shay. Okay, Mona. Count you in. Well, Liz Lizzie, what kind of a class you take? That one, my class. And you pay $300 for it? Okay. That's what's up. Maybe I should. I'll be, I'll be giving y'all sales. I'll be giving y'all 50% 50, 50 off. 70. I ain't doing sales no more, though. I'm not doing sales no more. Not for the Canva class. I don't know. I'm not saying never. I never say never. So I don't know when the next sale, if I'll do it again, because three, four hours is a long time. And I provide a lot of kind of information. You pay $300 for your Canva class? Okay. Thank you so much, Angela. You just got the notification. Young blood. Oh, I'm sorry. Good night, Angela. You ready? Okay, I'm gonna drop the link, y'all. I'm gonna. I think I'm about to drop the link right now. Matter of fact, let me make the link right now. Y'all say y'all ready. Let's see how ready. Let's see how ready, ready. Y'all ready? Let's see if y'all really ready. I'm about to drop that link right now. 
Let me get this class. Where my Canva class at? Canva class. Let's update it right now. Y'all say y'all ready. Let's see if we really ready. What date is Friday? Friday is the 15th. This class Friday the 15th. Go save it. Okay. And I made the link. I'm about to drop it. We about to see who really ready, ready. Where is this? Where'd it go? Here it go. Copy link. No. Oh my goodness, Shay. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Canvas is bomb. Lizzie, was that class worth it? Oh yeah, I got the link, y'all. Yeah, no, that wasn't my class. I love Canva. That's what you use to learn more to make projects better. Yeah, Canva is the bomb. That go the link, y'all. It's for this Friday. That go the link. I'm about to put it on the YouTube channel. In the community tab, in the groups. And then I got to update my flyer. All right. I just posted it on there. I'm about to put it on Facebook. Oh, I need to change the link. The link say the eighth still. So let me update that. Give me one second, y'all. If you bought it already, that's fine. Let me change the date on the link because the link might confuse people. We don't want no confusion. We don't want any confusion. Let's go ahead, drop this link, delete that one. Sorry, y'all. Sorry if y'all watching the replay, but I just want to get this out because people trying to go to sleep. Ask on live. Here you go. Okay. I just want to get it out there because when you want something, you want it. And I just want to make sure I'm delivering. If that's what you want, I got you. Okay. So it's everywhere. All right. Oh, darn it. Let me fix that. See, I'm going too fast. That's what I was saying. I be doing too much. I'm about to fix it right now. Thank you for letting me know. Sis be doing the most. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Okay. Give me one second. I got you. I got you. I got you. Camera master class. Here we go. Now use this link. That should be all set. There we go. That's the right link. Because you have to give permission for, um, you have to give StreamYard permission 
What's your name? Is it Sinesta still? Have a good night, Deidre. <gasps> yes, go to sleep. Get you some rest. Thank y'all for hanging with me, y'all. So that go to Canva class. That go to Link. The link is on um, in the Facebook group on my personal Facebook. I'm about to put it on my Instagram. Um, I'm going to put it on my milkshake. I'm going to put it everywhere. So there you go. Hey, Michelle. So you have to give um, the StreamYard permission, and then the next time you come on, your name will pop up. All right, y'all. Any more questions while we wait? I'm about to update my uh, milkshake. We on a whole nother day now. Hey, Michelle. Thank you for joining. All right. Okay. If y'all don't have any other questions, thank y'all for rocking me. Rock, rocking me. <laughs> rocking with me. Good night, Joy. I love all of y'all. I love y'all so much. I love you, Joy. Love you, everybody. Okay. Yep, it's the link. You're so welcome, Michelle. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for everything. Angela, did you get it? Yep, you got it. I got you, Angela. Angela said, I'm not playing with you. I got you for this Friday. I'm so excited. Oh, let me get the members link. Think, 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 think. Oh, my milkshake. All right, y'all. I'm just making it accessible for everybody so everybody can access it. I got your, I got your payment, Angela. Thank you. You're welcome. You're so welcome. Love y'all. It's at, it's at 6 p.m. So what time are you? You may be, are you in a different time zone? Are you in Easter? Hey, the real breezy. So if you're in a different time zone, like you're in a different city, then it may show up. But where I am is 6 p.m. So yours may be a different time. And if it is, it may have automatically switched to your time, wherever you are. Like when um, Irma came from Cali, hers said 3, 3 p.m. Because she's in Cali time. So the system automatically switched to her. Okay, that's probably why then. Eastern. Eastern. My friend texted me. Really? He on my head. Okay. All right. Eastern. I have a, a an accent sometimes. Hey. Okay, you're in Central. So it switched yours because you're in Central. Where are you at, Angela? Good night, Fabulosis. I can't wait till I do embroidery. I'm going to be needing you. I'm going to need your number so I could call you for that. <laughs> people do say, that's what people say. People say I have an accent. All right, y'all. Oh, okay. That's why. Yep. Y'all are behind us. But okay. If it's not any more questions, I'm about to get off here, drink my water, relax, take myself. I don't know if I'm going to go to bed or not. I think it was a movie on Netflix I wanted to watch. But I love y'all. I missed y'all. And I can't wait to see y'all next Monday. And I may see y'all before then, too. Good night. Good night. I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Sweet dreams, everybody. That's what people tell me. I don't think I do, but people tell me, love you. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. Sweet dreams, Lizzie. I want to hear you now. You got to get on one of these lives or something. One of these Zooms. All right, y'all. I'll be here all night. Love y'all. Good night. Bye.